We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for you guys to smash that like button. And here we are with MEO Lenstock, Molin Automotive Inc. Having an explosive run, but struggling to stay above key resistance levels that need to be turned into support. Now, big run here, but it wasn't the only stock going higher. The SPY did as well. And our SPY bot at 11.20 a.m. sent us out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, call options went up 200% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge over the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator. Getting connected to our SPY bot, QQQ bot, newly released Tesla bot. And we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the market so MEO land stock here trying to break out of this range we've been following it and tracking it and talking about it and we need to talk about the key levels up here at the 82 83 cent range and what to look for in support and resistance but before we do i want to share with you guys the home and opportunities that were mentioned this morning over at the discord as you see popping up on the screen these are some of the home runs that we were able to find this week alone and we strive for opportunities like these every single day not guaranteed to be this way all the time but we strive for them so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so these are the two stocks i mentioned this morning both of them gave jumps of three to five percent five to ten percent plus but one of them turned out to be a home run and that was VLCN. We caught this one in the pre-market pulling downwards, found support, came back up, got that bull indicator and jumped up to a highest point in the pre-market of 30% plus, consolidated towards the bell and jumped up another 10 to 20% plus guys. And apart from that, we also had our Tesla bot send out a bull indicator at 10, 10 a.m. And from that moment forward, call options went up 300% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity over the charts with our 42 vision indicators and getting connected to our bots, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So here we are with Femio Land Stock, as I stated earlier in the video, ranging within this area, right? We've talked about this all week between 78 cents to 83 cents, slightly broke above it. And we need to talk about these key levels. I'm going to pull up the Bull and Bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors that are all looking to learn and grow together and maximize within the volatility with the clarity and edge that 42 vision brings guys and you can now gain access to it as well and we're also going to use our inflow versus outflow indicator to see clearly with that edge what the charts are showing right that adds that extra layer of confirmation on what we look at here within the chart so it got a bull indicator here at around 80 cents and it's been trying to break out from 80 cents the last several days keeps on rejecting 83 cents finally broke above it and now it hit a high here of 85 cents almost 86 cents retesting some levels that we've talked about and rejecting it again now on the 30 minute you could see that the inflows did not pick up they're still red here on the 30 minute this is very important and pivotal i've been talking about this on our previous videos we want to see this pull upwards the outflows are still outweighing and not allowing the stock to at least break out to new resistance levels. The last time it broke out was August 1st and it went from 75 cents all the way up to 91 cents. And you could see how things slowed down. Once they cross, this right here was a hidden divergence and it lasted very shortly, right? It lost its momentum really fast. And that's how we've ended up here. And right now the outflows are outweighing. Now, when you go into the volatility and you zoom in on the 15 minute, you can see the times when things have picked up, but they're not picking up enough to make a difference on the 30 minute. Today, the inflows picked up slightly after that bull indicator, right? Right there, that's when it crossed. And the next bar after that bull indicator. So 42 vision was shifting, right? Showing that strength picking up. 
that confirmation with that bull indicator and then at the same time inflows picked up on the next bar and you could see that continuation pulling away from the midpoint for the rest of the day now when things started to slow down sat sideways and towards the after hours it's pulling back and transitioning to its first dark green with red borders and you can see those outflows picking up they haven't crossed yet if it doesn't cross that's the key thing i'm going to be watching on monday it could still have some strength here and find support at newer highs and create newer highs and newer lows at the newer higher levels right so super super important to keep that in mind that's why we're going to break down the supports and resistance that i'm watching but bull indicator still holding true here on the 15 minute on the 30 minute as well i'm going to be watching if inflows could actually drip into the 30 minute and pull it upwards even if it doesn't cross just yet at least switch from red to green trying to signify that there's some further strength not just on the 15 minute because if you look at the 15 minute for the last several days every time it pops up yeah it's crossed but shortly after it gets pulled right back down and that's why we've been in this sideways action and now it's pulling down again but still above the midpoint we want to see inflows hold up we want these bull indicators to hold up and not get canceled by bear indicators now in the bigger picture on the four hour you could see that we're shifting out of this dip area from red with green borders to dark green we hit two red bars here but they get canceled out very quickly with the dark green but outflows are still outweighing and in this process as it continues to slightly pull up i'm going to be watching if 42 vision can cancel out this bear indicator and in the process get a bull indicator signifying possible further strength like it did here not guaranteed to move exactly the same but i'm going to be watching for that now another thing to determine how strong is that pull up and that bull indicator is to watch these inflows i mean you can see outflows have been outweighing on the four hour as well and this turned out to be short-lived and pulled right back down so i'm going to be watching for a bull indicator but also if those inflows can have some real strength and start pulling up towards the midpoint now on the one day here still under the bear indicator and it's our second day here with red with green borders so going to be watching those bars as they transition and as they try to pull themselves up now when we go back to the 30 minute the support level that i'm watching here is 8171 8171 is super important or if you want to round that up to 82 cents 8180 8190 you can within that tight range but that is the key level that i'm watching i want to see the bulls hold up above that and pull up if the bears try to tear it down right now below that would be down here at 80 cents guys i'll just round that up it says 79.70 here i'll just round that up to 80 cents that is the key level that i'm watching to the downside below that it would also mean that we're now below where that bull indicator popped up and outflows are going to continue to outweigh here and it could possibly even affect the 15 minute making it cross back down that's another thing i'm going to be watching here within the volatility if it can hold up above it or is it going to retest it or break below it on the 15 minute now to the upside i definitely want to see this break above 85 cents but get back up towards the 86 87 i would just round that up to 87 cents and if that's accomplished the next resistance level is up here at 93 cents guys i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below this has been a nice breakout here from within this consolidation but the bears are trying to tear it down very quickly and the bulls need to put some strength here in my opinion as always not financial advice and again thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money